Today, we will be presenting some new features in Gen2, as well as some tips and tricks for you to add to your practice management routines. During the presentation, please feel free to use the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen to send through your questions as you think of them. At the end of the presentation, we will have a dedicated section for the Q&A and we will answer as many as we can with time allowing. We commence with some letter writing shortcuts. Did you know you can add your consultation fields directly into your letter templates to save time and to auto populate your letters? Firstly, navigate to the settings area to create a new or select an existing template. Using the references icon, you can select the fields to be used within your consult window that you wish to add to the letter. In this example, we are going to look at that consultations area and include reason for encounter, history, examination and plan as the fields we want in our letter. With these references used firstly within the consultation window and then in the letter template as you see here on the left, when the practitioner creates a letter from the patient's file, the data entered is automatically transferred into the letter template. No need to type another thing. If you prefer to dictate your consultation notes, using Dragon Medical One or DMO for short can help. In this example, specific fields within the consult note are used and are dictated into and this can occur with or without the patient present. Similar to our previous example, these fields are then used within a letter template and the fields are directly transferred into the letter. If the letters are reviewed by other staff prior to sending, there is also a convert to text reference available within the letter, allowing any edits to occur. Are you familiar with all of the available references in Gen2? These are handy fields that can be brought into the letter. You access them using this shortcut in the letter writing and letter templates area. And here are, are some examples of the references that you can choose. These references are great shortcuts to save you from entering data that already exists within the patient file in Gen2. We have a Gen2 mobile app, and this is a fantastic feature that allows practitioners to view upcoming appointments and procedures, view patient records, and use the phone's camera to add photos to the patient's file. It also allows you to speed up clinical documentation with voice powered by Nuance. The Voice Advanced Extra Offering is a very powerful tool. Practitioners can automatically dictate letters into the mobile app and have the correspondence appear in Gen2 instantaneously upon uploading. The high level of accuracy embedded into the app means that practitioners can speak fast, include medical terminology with ease, and complete the letter reply process in minutes. The app can be used anywhere with Wi-Fi or mobile data coverage, and any interruptions are handled simply and easily by auto-saving dictations. Practitioners can set up voice to their own requirements with auto text fields that automatically populate into your dictation with pre-saved text or headers. Correspondence routines can be finalized in line with patient appointments and this avoids having transcriptions to review or letters to write at the end of the day.
the Gen2 mobile app is now available and can be downloaded from the Play or App Stores. As well as the voice dictation advantage, the app allows practitioners to view appointments, procedures and patient records, meaning the information is available to them whenever they need. You can scan the QR codes on the screen to be taken directly to your store of choice to download the Gen2 mobile app that is now available. With exciting developments happening in the Gen2 mobile space, our developers are currently working on creating and editing consult notes within the app, including the voice integration. Attaching documents to outgoing letters is a feature that has been requested by many practices. We are happy to share that this functionality is now available and you can choose to attach letters, diagnostic reports or patient attachments to outgoing correspondence. When creating a letter, all you need to do is click the attach button that is visible within the screen and you can choose what attachments to add to this particular letter. The attachments will be present at the end of that letter and you can then choose to remove those. This is a really simple method that goes a long way to improving communication between practitioners within the one document and has been received really well by those already making use of this feature. Now onto some top tips and best practice methods for your correspondence. Keep your information concise and to the point when corresponding with patients and practitioners. Make sure your letter templates are set up correctly with standardised fonts, sizing and margins. This helps with duplicating your letters for use in the future. You can set up automated appointment reminders and now with booking confirmations to reduce no-shows at the practice. And finally, you are now welcome to register for automated SMS top-up credits and I've got more info to share with you coming up. Another new feature introduced most recently in, within Gen2 is booking confirmation SMSs. These booking confirmation SMSs are sent to patients 15 minutes after booking in their appointment into Gen2 for the first time. All patients will continue to receive an appointment reminder in addition to the booking confirmation. To turn on this feature, you can go to settings, SMS templates and reminder booking confirmation. Currently there is a set message for these booking confirmations which you can see on the right hand side. The booking confirmations add another layer of communication with patients and it allows them to quickly find and contact the practice to reschedule any bookings. Instead of monitoring your own SMS credit balance and manually purchasing additional credits with our team, we encourage you to use the new auto top up feature. This allows you to keep your SMS credits topped up automatically and removes the risk of running out of credits. When your credit balance falls below your own predefined threshold, an order will be processed and billed automatically via direct debit as part of the monthly bill. This is another feature that has been taken up quite strongly since it was recently released. We welcome you to scan the QR code here to register your interest and set this up for the practice.
ways to customize your Gen 2. Did you know that your A4 letterhead can now be added to your correspondence template to show your branded presence? This can be set up within the letterhead and letter templates area and it allows you to embed your A4 letterhead as a JPEG file into your letter templates. It will add two layers to your documentation. So the full page letterhead will be behind the text and the text in the letter will appear on top of that. If you haven't already looked into it, please consider using electronic sending for correspondence that is best for your referrer base, such as Argus, Medical Objects and HealthLink. These electronic sending providers ensure that there is encrypted correspondence between your practice and the receiver. And they often have reports that are sent back to the practice to ensure that that correspondence has reached that particular location. Used alongside voice for your letters, it streamlines the letter process and the practitioners can then create the letter. And as long as they're happy with that letter, that correspondence can be sent directly. It's ensuring that that re referring doctor receives that correspondence as soon as possible and often within 24 hours of that patient being seen at the practice. Important tip is to review your correspondence cycle within the practice. Is it streamlined and efficient, or is it going to too many hands to work on? What is the best correspondence cycle for the practice? More and more we're seeing practitioners take control of their correspondence cycles, and with their templates all set up ready to go, it really does streamline that process. Familiarise yourself with how that correspondence cycle works within Gen 2 and consider making use of DMO, voice or both to remove the need for reviewing altogether.